He ain't me, but promise if we add a member. I stay faithful from November on the next December. No average marriage, but your life will be such an adventure. Iced out in Iceland in the blue. Can't you see? I made, I made a mistake. Please just look me in my face. Tell me everything's okay. Yo, what's going on guys? It's Garrett here, bringing you guys a new tutorial, and today we're going to be going over After Effects, the, another part of the Adobe Suite. We're going to be showing you guys how to make your very own time lapse, and I'm sorry, but not in this tutorial. I won't be showing you guys how to record it, or and or put it together if you guys are taking it by shutters, and or showcases, and like that. But uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to edit the raw video, and basically make it into a very nice, unique time lapse. So for this, you guys are going to need an updated version of After Effects. If you guys have CS6, that should work. Also CC. But uh, you need to have it with the effects of the CC kind of packaged together. Like CC Blur, Motion Blur, um, Focus Blur, kind of stuff like that. That comes with the Adobe Suite when you have an updated version. You guys are going to need your very own raw video, as in like a 20-minute time lapse of the sky or something like that. And of course, you can do this on your phone with different apps, but it's very nice to do it yourself on After Effects. So all you want to do is basically just watch this preview of what we're going to be making. In this case, I found an image right off of our video right off of YouTube. I downloaded it and basically this is what it looks like. It's just a very unique and very nice looking time lapse and uh, I'm not going to play the video fully for you guys just because my computer for some reason can't handle whenever I start playing videos and when it has Camtasia open, it kind of like grabs the bed I think because my Camtasia is using so much power and CPU. So basically it's all it is, it's a very fast video with the kind of sun going down and the kind of clouds coming over to the side. So all you want to have is your very own raw video. Of course I have my 60 minute 4K video. And just drag it into your project files right here. And you guys can do either two things. You guys can just go to here to composition and create your own composition. In this case I'm just going to drag it in right here so I can have it. And uh, a very key step that you guys want to do right off the bat is go to right here on the uh, the quality that you want to use and you want to just put it straight to quarter because you're going to be doing a lot of simple things but you guys have to use a lot of computer power to kind of process these um, little pixels and stuff. So I would just leave it like that and uh, the next thing you want to do is just choose where you want the time lapse to start and where you want it to end. So I'm going to have it start right about here. This whole Control shift and D which is gonna split your film like that and you guys can hit control X and that slop one and then go like 10 minutes in Um, you don't have to be 10 minutes exact. You guys can do it however long you want Same thing control shift D and then delete the other half So you guys have basically a little 10 minute clip of what you want to use Of course you guys can use a whole entire 60 minute clip But I like using a little bit of it just to you know make something a little bit better so what I want to do for this and for this basically by itself is if I was you guys and you know, I was uploading this to YouTube, I wouldn't follow this. But what I like doing is going to my composition right here and go to my composition settings. And I don't like locking my aspect ratio. But what I like doing is going to my width and making it 1920. And then going to my height and only making it 800. And for that reason is it makes it kind of like a cinematic feel right here. And all you have to do is grab these corners, hold shift, and drag it in. I'm going to make it actually a little bit bigger kind of like this because we're going to be using it for a certain effect and of course just drag it down like that so i have my kind of scene that i want to do and i want to just drag it over here so kind of have a uh, a big open spot right here so i can just scale it that way and it'll be a very nice kind of very nice how do i put this effect so in all this is really when it's gonna start getting a little complicated so the first thing i would do if i was you guys is i would just right click on this right now and go to blending options or excuse me go to frame blending and go to pixel motion and uh, just click that because what it's gonna do it's gonna help when you're blending everything together with the time lapse it's not gonna make everything kind of choppy and of course as i said before when you're doing this and make sure that you're of course having a very nice quality video in this case making sure there's no breaks inside the video like this one i'm going to be making right now has a little bit kind of stop it just probably when the camera ran out of memory or the camera died or something like that he had to change it but uh all i want to do is basically turn on that pixel motion and then right click and then go to time and then go to time stretch and what time stretch is going to allow you to do it's going to allow you to make you the duration of the video very long and or very small so in this case if you drag it to the left it makes it very small so we only want it to be about like 10 seconds or so so i can even just go right here and type in 10 seconds exactly and just click ok and then take right here in your little bottom zoom area and zoom in a little bit and you guys will have a 10 second video 
So if you guys just drag your mouse kind of through it, you guys can just kind of click around. You guys will see that it's only 10 seconds. The sun just goes down. And uh, what you want to do now is just scale it to yourself. So all you want to do right here is just click this little drop down arrow, go to transform, and then drag your mouse, your little um, time indicator all the way to the left, and then click on this position. And just click this little stopwatch because that's going to create a keyframe. If you guys haven't watched a video on a keyframe, you know, I would get kind of into the After Effects thing. A lot of things are done by these keyframes. So, of course, I would just keyframe it right here and then I drag it all the way to the end. And then I would take your, basically your, um, the X scale and I would just drag it the other way. But not too much, maybe just a little bit and then click out of that. And then of course, when you guys render the video, if I start right here, it's gonna see in the background that little kind of stopwatch thing in the middle is just gonna move to the thing. And then our video is gonna kind of swap like that. So really in all, this is kind of like what the time lapse is gonna be based on. You pretty much have it all done already. You know, the time is going, you have the scaling going on. But of course, you want something else. You want to make it different. So what would I do if I was you guys? If I would just right click on here, and then you guys can go mess around with these kind of effects. But of course, I would just kind of stay as simple as possible. But uh, I would click on it again and go right up to the top right and go to audio and just drag this little thing all the way down, which is going to pretty much take away every single audio sound within this clip because then you guys can add your own music and stuff like that. Of course, in this tutorial, I'm not going to be showing you guys the best music for time lapses, but uh, it's just a really cool thing to kind of take out all the sound because you're not going to hear the waves swishing around or something like that. It's not very, not very fun. So uh, the next thing you want to do is basically click on that time lapse again, go to effects and presets. And then go right here into the little search bar and just type in motion. And all I want to do is look down for the time right here and look for CC Force Motion Blur. And what's that's going to do? It's actually going to create a very nice motion blur throughout the text. And you guys can either just drag and drop it onto that or you guys can just put it on your thing. And if you guys can't see the difference, I'll put this on full for you guys. Right here in the water, if we can even zoom in, if I hit, actually, let's put this to zero. You guys are going to see that the water and the waves are actually just perfectly fine. You guys can see the little details between all of them. But if I put this to 8 like it originally was, you guys will have the little kind of blurring thing. Of course, in a lot of photography, people like to use this motion blur because it looks really nice. Of course, you guys can put it to like 15, and of course, it's going to do a lot more motion blur. We're going to leave it around 15. I wouldn't go above this. I wouldn't go below 5 if I was you. I would keep it kind of the same. And really, you guys have your motion blur already. You guys have everything going the clip goes by itself you have a lot of things going within itself so really you guys can call it quits right now and start doing that there's a lot of other things you guys can do if you would like you guys can go to your effects you guys can go to your color corrections um you can basically find stuff like your brightness and contrast you guys can drag one of those in and uh take out the contrast just a little bit more to kind of make everything a little bit darker leave the brightness there if i was you guys and then you guys can of course as i said before just go through all of these maybe put some exposure on it to kind of create a uh a very abrupt i don't know if that's even a word but a very nice kind of sequence for this time lapse so well uh, as of course there's a lot of other things you guys can do you guys can take on the saturation let's just say you want to drag this in and you want to just make a a little bit master hue make it a little bit more saturated of course you can do that but uh, all you want to do now is that you guys have this time lapse going um leave it on full and you guys can either go right here and click n on your keyboard which is gonna basically stop that stop that recording or stop that uh, video it's gonna be the end sequence for the key n and uh you can start rendering it so for rendering you guys can either do one of two things you guys can just click on the add to render queue go to your render settings and you guys can watch a video on creating the best one um my video is not 60 frames per second so i'm just gonna leave it at 29.97 make sure the quality is on that is best and it's on the resolution of full you guys can leave that really the same for uh op output module if i was you guys i would kind of uh, click around here and find the best one for you i'm gonna leave mine on quick time because that's what i'm gonna be rendering it out to to show you guys what it looks like you guys can really leave everything the same if you guys are an editor yourself there's obviously a lot more other things that you can use like for your video kodak you guys can click something else because just a lot of things get changed when you guys know how to use the software for this we're not going to be going too crazy and then for the output you guys can label this whatever you want in this case i'm going to be labeling a tutorial and then all you have to do is click render 
and now it's going to render out the video and of course as I said before is if you guys do not have a very powerful PC it's going to take you forever to render this because it's a very high quality video and it's a lot of things happening all at once so you're going to take a little bit to kind of push kind of process excuse me process it and render it within itself so uh, mine's rendering right now I'm going to pause this video and I'm going to be right back when it's done Alright guys, and I am back from the rendering, and I just put the uh, clip right into Adobe Premiere actually just to show you guys what it looked like. And uh, if I was you guys, I would add your music and kind of stuff like this through Premiere, because it gives you like a real-time play of everything, it doesn't have to like render preview stuff when you're working on it. So uh, right here I'm just going to play the clip for you guys, and you guys can tell that uh, it's a very cinematic feel and it's a very nice kind of transition and stuff. But uh, of course the kind of water ripples you guys can see throughout this clip is kind of annoying. And uh, this can be really easily fixed by either a different placement of the camera, having the clip shortened down a little bit, adding a more of a blur, and uh, simple stuff like that can actually help. So really, this is in all of what it does. Um, the hue and saturation that we did made a really cool effect, and of course, moving the um, moving the camera angle and the scale really did something really well. So uh, in general, this is actually a really sick effect, and everything looks really cool. Kind of looks like the mountain is kind of moving by itself as well. But uh, this is just really how to edit your own time lapse and After Effects. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial and you guys did enjoy an After Effects tutorial, let me know if you guys want me to do tutorials in different Adobe suites like Illustrator, InDesign, Lightroom. Of course, just let me know and I'd love to do that. And of course, guys, make sure you leave a thumbs up on this video and make sure you like it and make sure you subscribe because you guys are just really insane. You guys almost have me 10,000 subscribers. You know, I'm speechless about this. So if you guys would like more tutorials and stuff like this, and uh, just more than tutorials in general, let me know in the comments below if you guys have a specific genre of tutorials or a specific Adobe suite that you'd like me to use, totally let me know. But uh, this has been a time-lapse editing tutorial in After Effects. Of course, I'd use Premiere to add the music and stuff like that and uh, edit the video a little bit more. But uh, last thing I'm going to say is when you guys are taking the video, make sure it's not as choppy and make sure that it's one very nice sequence. And of course, make sure there's not a lot of ripples going on unless you're going to have to use a lot of blur. But uh, overall, that's the end of the tutorial. As I said before, guys, please leave a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. And it means a lot. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Peace out.